Hi, I'm Ronnie from Whip and Chain, alongside with Maggie and Lauren, and this is the spiderweb blanket that uh, I designed and had a lot of fun with. A lot of tears, but a lot of fun with. Just making sure the counts would work. And also, here's a little spider that can go along with it. The spider you can sew onto it. You can Velcro. You can probably even hot glue it. Or you can just leave it where the... You can move it wherever you want. Okay? I use my yarn from Hobby Lobby and I use uh, clover hooks, okay? If you're gonna do the same color scheme as me, I started with black, but I am going to use some leftover yarn that I had, okay? Let's get you close up so you can see what I'm doing. Just start with your starting chain. Chain three. Chain, oh, sorry. Chain four. One, two, three, and four. Okay. Then you take your hook and you go in the first chain and make sure you go underneath both pieces of yarn here. Something I had to learn on my own because a lot of tutorials don't talk about that. If you go in this wrong, you can make this slip where the end piece comes apart. You don't want to do that. So you wrap, bring it through, and you bring it through. Okay? Chain three now. One. Two and three. And you want to put 11 more double crochets into the center of this ring. Okay. So that would be total 12. That's two. Three. Four, This should be 12. Always count. Always save yourself from having to frog anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the starting chain will be 12. Okay. So just slip stitch to the top of the chain. the center tight and you just completed row one okay chain three again and you want to double crochet right back into that same stitch so we're doubling the size of our our ring here so you want to put two double crochets in every stitch going around and that will equal 24.
So far I have 10, and I'm going to go really slow so you guys can see the double crochet stitch. 10, wrap. Eleven, Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And twenty three and twenty four. Now, if you're not counting, you might actually catch yourself putting two more stitches right in here, but that's already used. So that's why it's really, really important to count your stitches, okay? So then you just slip stitch to the top of the chain. And you've completed row two. Okay. So now we want to make V stitches. So first chain three. Then you chain two more because there's going to be space in between these double crochets. You wrap and you go back into the same spot and you double crochet again. See what I mean? Little V. So then you skip one and go to the next. Put a double crochet in. Chain two, and you go back in. Okay, go into the next. Chain two, and double crochet right into the same spot. Looking good so far. Okay. Skip one. Go to the next. Chain two. That's my ice maker. Then you go back in and you double crochet. Skip one and double crochet. Chain two and double crochet back into the same spot. Skip one, double crochet, chain two, and you guessed it, right back into the same spot. So let me be quiet and I'll move along and 
finish this round while you watch. And when you're done these, you will have 12 of them. Chain two. And go back in. Double crochet. and back in. Skip one. If your counts are right, when you do the last one, you'll have one more to skip to go back to your first. And all you do at the end is slip stitch to the top. Okay, there she is. Now, if you're doing the black center, you'd want to stay with black to do this next row, but then you will change the orange. So the next row would still be black, okay? Okay, sorry about that. My hubby plays RC cars. Okay, just slip stitch over to the first triangle. Chain one. Now you put in three single crochets. One, two, and three. Okay. Now I want you to chain two and put three more crochets back in the same spot. One, two, I know it seems like a lot, but be very worth it, okay? Okay, then you just go right over to the next chain two spot, and you put in three single crochets. Chain two. And three more single crochets. And that's what this whole round is. Okay. And once you're done this round, this is round four. This is where we're going to stop on this today. But we will be posting the next video to do some more rows. But I want to do it in small segments because we have a lot of new people that are just getting back into it or just learning. And I don't want anybody to get discouraged, frustrated. We want to help everybody in this group. We want a, a friendly, safe place for you to learn this, this hobby that 
we just absolutely love doing. And I feel there's no wrong in this hobby. It's all right. There's no mistakes. You do what makes you happy. Remember crochet, three single crochets. Chain two. And guess three more single crochets. And go right to the next one. One, two, three, one, two, and one, two, three. This really defines, this row really defines this blanket makes it stand out. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm a very slow crocheter, and I have just learned to be okay with that. Doing this hobby is not a contest on who gets something done first or second or third. Go at the pace that makes you happy. If you're working on something and you're getting frustrated, just set it down. Come back to it later. Chain two and three more single crochet. Chain two. And three single crochet. And my last one. One, two, three, chain two, and one, two, and three and then you just slip stitch to the beginning and look at that two four five six seven eight ten eleven twelve what do you guys think so far? I love it. Any questions, please leave comments. Questions, um, please join our Facebook page, WIP, W-I-P, and Chain. And we're just going to ha help everybody that we're able to help and maybe do some live feeds as everything builds up. And please reach out. Maggie and I are very accessible, so I look forward to hearing from all of you. Have a great day. Bye now.